Welcome back to Decked Out. On today's episode, we are joined by Melissa Totora, Peachy Pop, and four of the Phyrexian Praetors who've invaded our studio. As always, a big thank you to Cool Stuff Inc., EDH Rec, and Dragon Shield, and today's episode sponsor, Into the AM, but more on them later in the video. That's enough from us. Let's meet the players. Hi, I'm Peachy of Peachy Pop Cosplay. Uh, you may have seen my Elish Norn cosplay around today. Coincidentally, I will be playing Elish Norn, Mother of Machines. Uh, I'm very excited to uh, break her out. Hoping to get a lot of good ETBs on my side and overall shut things down for everybody else. Um, ideally, I would like to be able to have both Elish Norns out at the same time. So I think that would really bring a lot of misery to the other Praetors and uh, I think it'd be a good time for me. Hello, I'm Melissa DeTora. I'm a senior game designer at Wizards working on Magic, and today I'm playing Vorinclex, Monster Serrator. The reason why I picked this deck is because Praetors are really hateful creatures. And I don't want to hate on people. I just want to do fun, proactive things. You know, I don't want to play Elish Norn. Like, nobody has fun when that's in play. So I just wanted to play, you know, some counters, beat people down, you know, crater hoof people to death, that kind of thing. So that's why I'm playing Vorinclex. I'm Veggie Wagon, and I gotta go fast with Urbrask the Hidden. All of my creatures are going to have haste, so that means that my big punchies like Atali Primal Storm and Scourge of the Throne get to use their attack triggers right away while my opponents are stuck with their creatures tapped. I'm going to try and overwhelm the board quickly and pick off players one by one before they can stabilize. Hello everybody, I'm MTG Nerd Girl, and for today's Praetor episode, I brought Shieldred the Apocalypse. She's not super impactful when she first comes down, but she will grind out the opponents with cool cards like Siphon Mind, and I even have some really cool kills with Peer into the Abyss. I'm not fishing for compliments, but what do you think of these t-shirts? I think they're pretty out of this world, and that is why we have partnered up with Into the AM to be our sponsor for this episode. I like my commander decks like I like my Into the AM t-shirts. Unique, expressive, and 60% cotton, 40% polyester. The game-winning combo is three basic tees for $49.95 or three graphic tees for $60. And you don't have to be jelly because you can use our exclusive link down below for 10% off your order. That's enough from us. Let's get into the game. Welcome to the table. Let's see who goes first. Let's roll a let's d20. Roll. Huh? I'm the worst. <laughs> Four. Man. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Five right. takes it. I will go first Gracious. with a five. Oh my goodness. With a five. I'll kick us off then. I will draw because we're playing a multiplayer game. Forest Pass. I appreciate the multiplayer reminder because I definitely would have forgotten. <laughs> Planes. And I'll pass. All right. I'm going to play Mountain. I'm going to cast Faithless Looting. Draw two. Oh, that hurts. I'm going to throw out. Uh, Berserker's Onslaught, Ancient Copper Dragon. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Oh, no. That's the turn. <laughs> Maybe this is a sign that it was the incorrect play to play the Faithless Looting on turn one. Right. Path of Ancestry, zap, I'm boring. I will play a forest and I'm gonna play a puppy. Werewolf Pack Leader, he's a cute dog. Oh. Yes. He has pack tactics, so if I attack with him, with a total of six power or greater, I draw a card and I can pay four mana and turn him into a 5-3 werewolf. I'll pass the turn. I have excellent news. I'm gonna play another forest, and I'm also gonna play a puppy and its spirited companion. Oh, two He's an enchantment creature dog. Uh, when he enters the battlefield, I draw a card. Hooray, I draw a card, and I'll pass. All right. I'm gonna play a mountain, I'm gonna pass. All right, I'm <laughs> scared of veggie. <laughs> I'm gonna play a swamp and an arcane signet. Nothing too crazy, pass the turn. That thing is crazy looking, though. All right. What's that from? That's just the one that you get for going to command fests. I will attack Brittany because you have an arcane signet. Rude. And then I will play a commander sphere, so I have some mana now. I'll pass the turn. I went last. <laughs> I will oh, attack you. you. <laughs> like, that's a good enough argument. You're right. I should not have attacked you. Play a plane, surprising everyone. Um, And I'm going to tap all three for Tokazia's Welcome, I believe. Enchantment, whenever one or more creatures with mana value three or less end of the battlefield under my control, I draw a card, and that only happens once each turn. Hmm. Veggie, one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bring it. Got, got him on you. <laughs> <laughs> and then pass. 
I'm going to play uh, Sook and Zion, Crucible of Defiance. It's my land. I'll tap three for Hazaret's Monument. Huh. My mm. red creature spells cost one less, and when I cast a creature spell, I can discard and draw. Pass. All right. I'm just going to get this party started. I'm going to go ahead and just play my commander. We're going to play Shieldred. Unfortunately, I can't read this one because it's written in Phyrexian, but I'm under the impression that whenever an opponent draws, they lose two, and whenever I draw, I gain two. I wasn't planning on playing Shieldred super early because she is not super impactful and I kind of need her to stick around on the board. So I wanted my opponents to spend all of their removal, but it doesn't seem like they have any. So I'm going to go ahead and play her and see what happens. Pass the turn. And take two. Oh, I take two. (laughs) That's about to feel real bad. Um, (laughs) I am going to attack Peachy for three. (gasps) No. Okay. All right. Take three. And then I'm going to play two magic cards. First, a scavenging ooze, and then a rampant growth. So I'm going to get a forest into play tapped, and then once I do that, I will pass the turn. I love a little scooze. Some scooze action. On tap. I'm going to draw a card. And you're going to take two. I'm going to take two. Begrudgingly. (laughs) Let's go with our planes. I'm going to tap three for Brymaz, King of Oreskos. He's a 3-4 with Vigilance. Whenever he attacks, put a 1-1 white cat soldier creature token with vigilance on the battlefield attacking. When he blocks a creature, I get a 1-1 white cat that blocks that creature also. And he is a creature with mana value 3 or less, um, so I do draw a card. Let's shelter it again. Is she a 2-3? Two, two, four, five. That's terrible. She's not queen of the booties, but she's got she's, a big one. <laughs> she's pretty, yeah, she's pretty hefty. She's full of spiders. <laughs> I'm gonna pass my turn. <laughs> I drew my card, so I lose two life. <laughs> then I'm going to play a mountain for turn. I'll tap four for uh, Ilarg, the Raze Boar. It costs one less because it has a monument. It's a 6-6 six, six trample. When it attacks, I can put a creature from my hand onto the battlefield tapped and attacking. And then I return it to my hand at the beginning of the next end step. And if this dies, I can put it into my library third from the top. You know what? I'm going to I'm even going to discard a card and draw a card. <laughs> I don't care. I'm going to pitch um, Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> this Valakut Awakening and draw and lose to life. And I pass. All right. Children doing her thing. You even get to gain two life. Yeah, I do. All right. Well, I think it's time for a little ramp. So let's go ahead and play a swamp for turn. And we're going to play a soul ring. I'm going to tap three for a command sphere. Tap three for an Underworld Connections. Underworld Connections allows me to pay one light and draw a card. Uh, if I tap the land that it's attached to. I know I'm a little bit here the threat, so we're going to just uh, sit back and hang out. I will lose two life from Shieldred. I'll play a land and cast my commander. He's Vorinclex, Monstrous Raider. He has Trample and Haste, and whenever I get counters, I double them. And whenever you guys get counters, you have them. My only attack here is Peachy, so I'm going to get in there for six with oh. Trample. Uh, so in response, oh no, I'd rip. like to send him to the Shadow Realm. Rip. And have him. I was I was saving that for Sheltered, but I don't want to be punched in the face, so <laughs> well, it must it must be redirected <laughs> to I Boring deserve Clex. that. I will get a forest from the path. Ooh, good job, Sheltered. You dodged <laughs> it. <laughs> we'll see, the bolt we'll was see coming about straight that. for Sheldra and then <laughs> I'm never attacking again. <laughs> this, like is a, a, this is a slow death. This would be a fast death. <laughs> it, was a, it was a very get down Mr. President like, <laughs> Sheldra, <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pay for that when I draw though. <laughs> it's your turn. Okay. I'm going to untap and I'm going to draw and I'm going to lose too. Oh, dang it. Surprise, surprise. Pay five to cast my commander. It's Elish Norn, Mother of Machines. And it's a cool Jinji Ito one. Uh, she's a 4-7. She's the biggest booty among the table. If a permanent entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability of mind to trigger, it triggers an additional time. And then the opposite for all of you guys. So all of your ETBs don't trigger at all. Yep, that's okay. I'm going to pass my turn. <laughs> a little bit too much going on out here for me to send my poor boys into it. <laughs> I'm going to draw. I'm going to pretend like that Elginor didn't ruin everything I was going to do in my turn. You're also going to take two. I'm going to take two. <laughs> I had a plan. <laughs> I had a, I had, it was a good plan, probably. 
it's probably getting, it's not. It's getting tough out there right now. But <laughs> well, it's and it's up to you as the black player to kill the Elish Norn because red usually can't do enough damage to it, and green is pretty light on removal spells usually. So we're kind of like we have. There's a lot riding on right now. Crossfire going Elish on Norn. right now. She's not doing anything. To yeah, me. I've done nothing to no one. I'm going to pay three and cast Sophim Mayhem Dominus. Yeah, it's going to double all of my non-combat damage, and I can discard cards to put an indestructible counter on it. That will trigger Hazard's Monument, and I don't have the thing I need right now, so I'm going to discard another card. And take two? And take two. I think I'm going to discard Big Score and draw and take two. I guess we go to combat here. Really, the only good attack is to Melissa. Mm -hmm. Although, I would be happy to trade this boar for Shelly over there. So I'm going to swing six your way, Nerd Girl. Does it do the thing? It does the thing. Um, and I guess I'll, I'll spoil the what what happened. I'm going to put a Terror of the Peaks oh, <laughs> into play, no. <laughs> which um, would have been great. And it would allowed me to take a bunch of stuff out, except its trigger is enter the battlefield. <laughs> So instead, it's just a 5-5 five, five flyer. I don't see flying blockers, so Peachy, this one's for you. Mm. I will not block the 6-6. Six, six. Mm -hmm. And I don't think you can block the 5. Yeah, the 5-4 five, so. is coming to me. I was so close to ending this game immediately with the combination of Terror of the Peaks and Solfim Mayhem Dominus, but I uh, forgot that Elishnorn is in this pod. Yikes. Yikes on bikes. That's too many. Uh, I will pass and the Terror of the Peaks will return to my hand. End of your turn, I'm going to tap to lose a life and draw a card, but I'll gain a two from the Shieldred, so I'll net one for the card draw. That's a combo. <laughs> That's a combo. Alright, let's untap. I will gain two. I'm going to play Command Beacon to start off the turn here. I'm going to pay three for a Sedgemore Witch. This is a 3-2 Menacer with Ward pay three life. And also, Magecraft, I get to make a 1-1 one, one black green pest token whenever I cast an instant or sorcery. When the pest dies, it's a 1-1 one, one that can gain a life. I'm going to go ahead and tap to gain one life and draw a card with the Underworld Connections triggering the Shieldred just to make sure there's nothing else I want to cast. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and cast a spell I don't get to cast very often, but I put it in most of my decks. It's very exciting. We're going to pay four black. A Temporal Extortion. Any player going around the table may choose to pay half their life to counter the spell. If not, I get to take an additional turn. With this on the stack, I'll use the Sedgemore Witch to make a 1-1 pest. And now it'll be on to Melissa if you would like to counter this spell. I will not counter the spell. Would you like to pay 14 life to counter this spell? That's a high price. I think I will have to pass. But, on but that. you pay less than than we do. I feel like if anybody, yeah. that it's a lot. Oh rougher yeah, than me. Well, I'd love to be at fourteen <laughs> while you're at thirty-seven. <laughs> you might have life gain. I'm I'm as team a white player. I'm team. Yeah. I, might, yeah. I might happen into life gain later in the game, so I can get back up above fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Yeah, you know, I mean, you have even more than I do. Yeah, I'm also so not going to pay. I'm not going to pay. I'm not paying. So we're good. Yeah. Woo! Begrudgingly. <laughs> Black gets to do the cool stuff. I like it. Love to see it. I was really hoping one of you guys would pay. I know. Yeah. I, I, like, as the first person, it couldn't be me. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and move to my next turn, and uh, we will untap. I will get to draw, and I will gain two. I'm going to tap one to gain a life and draw with the Underworld Connections. I'm going to play Mind Blade. This is a 1-3 warrior that says whenever an opponent is dealt combat damage, if any of that damage was dealt by a warrior, I draw a card and lose a life. Now, it's important to note that that is not my warriors. Should any of you have warriors, then this would also count. Pass. I will draw a card and lose two life. Boop, boop. Gonna play something big here. Oh, gosh. Defiler of Vigor. This is a 6-6 six, six trampler. My green permanent spells cost G less, but I have to pay two life to do so. And whenever I cast a green permanent spell, I can put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature I control. I'm going to play a green permanent spell using Phyrexian mana, so I'm going to pay two life and play Champion of Lampholt. And when I cast it, I put a counter on all my stuff. That's really cool that the Defiler's abilities on cast, not on when it enters, gets yeah. around the Elishnorn. That's yeah. sweet. 
Yeah, and then the champion of Lamholt gets around all of our blockers. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but it's not going to trigger though because um, of the yellow mm-hmm. Norn. This is like when when a creature ETBs is uh, is when this triggers. So that's going to be tough unless this dies. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't attack in this situation, so I will pass the turn. That's getting real pricey. <laughs> I think I would like to uh, go to combat. I think I'd like to attack with my one one dog. I think I would like to attack you, Veggie. That poor dog. So I know I'm sending my spirited companion into the cheese grater, and I know it seems a little cruel, but I do have a plan. I will block with soft him. Okay. He'll die. Okay. On my second main phase. <laughs> is, this, is this raid? <laughs> On my second, yes. <laughs> On my second main phase, I'd like to play Wingmate Rock. He's 3-4. When he enters the battlefield, if I attack with a creature this turn, I get a 3-4 white bird creature token with flying. You, you died for a good cause, spirited companion. I, I will remember you in battle. I will get uh, just one card draw since this only triggers once per turn. So we'll draw that card. All right, and I will pass. All right. Oh, seven spirited companion. <laughs> <laughs> I'll draw. I'll lose two life. There's so many things I need to deal with right now, and I'd like to not <laughs> have to have so many of them to deal with. I'm going to deal with all of them. All wow. of them? Oh, no. Hmm. I'm going to deal with all of them. I don't want all of them to get dealt with. I'm going to pay two. I'm going to cast Wild Magic Surge on Elish Norn. Oh, great. It will destroy her, and then you will reveal cards from the top of your library until you hit a creature and put that onto the battlefield instead. Oh, okay. So you might get something nice out of it, but I need it to not be Elish Norn. That's fair. Oh, no. And I know about the Terror of the Peaks, so I mm. need to stop that. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. Oh, until I reveal a card type. Oh, this shares a card type for that permanent. So, so, so in response, in response to that. Okay. I'm gonna sack the command sphere to draw. Okay. I'll gain two from the Shieldred. I'm gonna look for an answer to stop Veggie from killing my stuff. We are going to make sure Veggie cannot do anything too tricksy. But I'm, I'm going to. Uh, sudden spoiling, which is a split second card, which turns uh, creatures target player controls become O2 and lose all abilities until end of turn. So goodbye things that are going to blow up my children with the terror of the peaks. And I can't respond to that. Okay. And so all my you... stuff are zero twos so that, that can't do anything. <laughs> and then I reveal off the top until I hit uh, basically a creature. Oh, whoa. That's Karma Guide. Uh, and then the brass go on the bottom of the library in Ran Mortar, I believe. Mm-hmm. So the dog's so. coming back. The, <laughs> the dog will return! <laughs> He's my spirited companion. I knew he'd never leave me. So uh, when he enters the battlefield, return to our creature card from a graveyard to the battlefield. So, spirited companion is coming back. Hey, that's a creature with mana value three or less. I'm going to draw a card. This is, uh, this is working out pretty all right for me. <laughs> you oh, and then even a second yep, card. When he enters the battlefield, I also draw a card. And you get Wee. to you get to lose some life for these draws. I sure do. <laughs> you don't even have a choice. Like, you could not They're draw They're not a even card made. If you didn't yeah. want to. So I lose four life. <laughs> okay. Well, that's resolved now. And Elish Norn is, is no more for the moment. So enjoy your ETBs. <laughs> There will not. There will be none. He has O2s. That's true. Yeah, not mine. You can't you, have the any. The two ETBs. of you will get a turn of ETBs. <laughs> you have as many ETBs, ETBs as you want. <laughs> you um, got two turns to enjoy. <laughs> well, I'm not going to swing with my O2s with no abilities, so I'll. Are you sure? That seems. That seems good. <laughs> I'll pass the turn. Also, uh, while you guys were doing that stuff, I did make a pest as well. So let's go ahead and untap. I'll gain two. No, you won't, because at your oh. upkeep, <laughs> I'm going to oh. pay two. Oh. Now that my stuff is back to what they are, and I'm going to cast a braid targeting children. Let's start by drawing a card. Mm -hmm. I will gain that too. You should also lose one from Underworld Connection. Yes, I lose. uh, Sorry about that. I just gained the one. Correct. And then I will play Village Rights and I'll sack a little pest and see if I can find a way out of this. Draw two cards, gaining me one, two, three, four. I'll make a pest for casting the village rights. Oh yeah, and one for the pest dying, and I'll draw two. Hang on, I'm see. Okay, so that resolves, um, and then I get to go to my my draw step, and I do not get to gain any more life, which is the sad. <sighs> oh no. Even if only for one turn. You had so little. Okay. Shieldred's gone. Elish Norn's gone. Now I just need a big play from Melissa to get some of the heat off of me. 
Also, why you're I'm playing mono white and you have double the life total. <laughs> What's <laughs> happening here? <laughs> I feel like I should be scared of Melissa. Yeah, I expended my resources just to give myself a chance to do some things in the future, but... I think I'm scared of Peachy, because there's a lot of birds over there. Yeah, but... And Elish birds. Norn can come back next turn. You also have dice on cards, which means that... One... Need to well, <laughs> they're on one! Crime. One! <laughs> one is so small. All right, well, we're going to go and pay, pay three. And I'm going to... Read the bones, scry two, then draw two, and lose two life. So let's go ahead and scry. I will keep both of them and draw them and lose the two life. Uh, let's play a swamp for turn. And this is the only time I'm going to get to do this. Pay three. And we're going to cast the Oubliate. And we are going to lock down. Hmm. I don't want to have to hit Veggie, but Veggie is going to kill my stuff. The only thing I was concerned about was... Children making me die very quickly now that she's not there. You, had, you were on a 15 turn clock. It's fine. <laughs> I want I want to be able to swing out with my stuff that is cool and then be okay to take some crack back. I do not plan to do more things to you currently. I would like to nom noms on the Defiler of Vigor. It just goes underneath. And that will be my turn. I will draw and not lose two life. Feels so nice. <laughs> Both the moms are out of the house. Party time. I will play Shamanic Revelation. I draw a card for each creature I control, and I gain four life for each creature with power four or greater I control. So I only control one creature with power four or greater, so I'm going to gain four. And I'm going to draw three. Nice. I will play an Arbor Elf. That will put a counter on... The champion. So now creatures with power less than champion cannot block my stuff. Uh, first, can I ask uh, who has creatures in their graveyard? I do not. I do not. Uh, Nobody. I have an ancient copper you have dragon. You a creature in oh. your graveyard. Okay. Okay. I, I feel better about this then. I will attack Nerd Girl with the Werewolf Pack Leader and the Scavenging Ooze. And since I attacked with power six or greater worth of stuff, I will draw a card. Okay. So your s things with power one or less cannot block my stuff. Okay. I will not block. Okay. Take seven. All right. In my second main phase. Under 40. Yes. Yeah. Back we got there. Total. <laughs> I'm not that far ahead in life, guys. <laughs> I'll play an Elvish Mystic, which will trigger the Champion of Lamholt. I'll pass the turn. On tap. For a Karma Guide, uh, his Echo Trigger does, uh, unfortunately... Uh, explode him into dust. I'm gonna play Command Bacon. I mean, mm. Command Beacon. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to get Miss Norn out of Commander Baby Jail. And well, uh, I'm completely tapped out, so let's see what I can do as far as combat. Um, I think it's time to get some bird action. Birds for everyone. Now, I, I did shut down the ETBs. But no, girl, you are at a pretty high life total. I got, I got, I gotta send you some birds. All right, I'll take the bird. I'll give you, I'll give you. Let's see. Now we are allies. Remember, this is true. <laughs> I will only give you two birds. All right. I'll when I could give you three, <laughs> I'll take two birds. Excellent. Um, and I think that that will be my turn. All right. I think I'm just gonna pay four and cast Urbrask the Hidden. Uh, for four creatures I control have haste, and creatures you all control come in tapped. That'll trigger Hazard's Monument. I guess at this point, I just discard Inferno Titan because mm -hmm. I'm not, you don't get any ETBs. <laughs> uh, I would've, it would have gotten attack triggers too, but like I, that doesn't even work with the Raise Boar. So I will discard that and draw. Yeah, don't get too used to those free draws. Mm -hmm. I don't really want to leave damage on the table. So I'll swing with Ilarg at you, Melissa. And as you already know, that's going to put Terror of the Peaks into play. Uh, and that will head towards Nurgirl. Try and even these life tails out. No blocks for me. I'll take the five. And no blocks for me. Yeah, I appreciate an evening out of life totals at 22. <laughs> <laughs> but taking and beating, drawing all these cards. <laughs> I am my turn. Terror goes back to my hand. All right. I think I just have to do the thing. We're going to pay an additional two. And I'm going to play Shieldred back onto the board. It enters tapped. Oh, good, good call, good call. I'm a big cheater. 
And that means it doesn't work, right? All right, so Shelly is back online. Tap two, I'm going to cast a Knight's Whisper. I'm gonna make a pest, go to four, and I uh, draw two, lose two. However, I will also gain the four, so I will just net two. What? And make my pest and draw the two. Yeah, this is fine. I'll pay two, and I'm gonna cast Bitter Blossom. At the beginning of my upkeep, I make a 1-1 one, one Flying Fairy Rogue. I will move to my end step, unless anybody wants to volunteer to let me hit them for one. No. <laughs> we get hit for one, what do you get? I get a card. Oh, no, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll pass the turn. <laughs> There's I've... no way for me to, like, capitalize on that. We would be friends. <laughs> oh, we would be friends. But I already drew a card and lost two life, which makes us no longer friends <laughs> for now. I'm going to attack Veggie uh. with Werewolf Pack Leader and Scavenging Goose. Since I attacked with power six or greater, I'm going to draw a card uh, well, and lose two life, which is sad. <laughs> yeah, none of these are great for me. I'm taking seven. Okay, take seven. All right, in my second main phase, I am going to play Primitive Etchings. This is this card is 20 years old <laughs> from the expansion Scourge, which was a dragon themed expansion. And I've never cast this card before. And it says, reveal the first card you draw each turn. Whenever you reveal a creature this way, draw a card. I'll then play a Swiftfoot Boots and I will equip the boots onto something. I'll put it on the Champion of Lamholt. Yeah. I think that makes sense. That seems good. I'll pass the turn. I don't like Champion having the boots. I... She scares me. That card is strong. She's great, yeah. You just I need big creatures. I think I'm gonna tap two out of the Swift Foot Boots. And then I'm gonna... <laughs> Your boots are so much cooler than my boots. I got retro <laughs> boots. My boots are just like, they're, they're so normal. <laughs> they're sweet old boots. Well, yours are on fire. At, yeah, at least they'd they be have very warm. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to pay the, uh, the one to equip that upon Elish Noah. Great. I hate it. Girl, she is safe. I think I'm going to tap three. Uh, and I would like to Oblivion Ring Sheldrake. You can also Oblivion Ring another thing. I could, yes, because I will get a second bonus one, so I suppose I have to decide that now. One of these things. That's probably a good point. <laughs> um, I think I'm afraid of Solfim a bit more, so I will O-ring both Sheldred and Solfim. It'd be, be kind of cute to do Urbresk and Sheldred so that both of the writers can go hang out in exile together. I will choose to put Sheldred into the command zone. And Solfem, we'll just kind of, we'll just kind of put him. Oh, yeah, we can just, oh, hold on, we can go. Okay, we'll just go. Okay, let's put him right there, just so you think about it. Um, I'm actually going to respond. Okay. I'm going to pay one and cast Bolt Bend and redirect the target this, uh, of Oblivion Ring from Solfem to your Swiftfoot boots. Hmm. Interesting oh. development. <laughs> well, that's. No good. I think it's pretty great. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it myself. Like, <laughs> and, and also, it's such a fair target. Like, you targeted the Swiftfoot boots. I know. Yeah. That's fair. So, I know that the second copy of the O-Ring was free, but I can't say I was expecting it to come back and O-Ring my boots. The second trigger uh, does, in fact, exile my Swiftfoot boots, <laughs> I suppose. So that's gone. Um, well, so it's it's O-ringed effectively. Mm -hmm. So I'll just put them I'll put them together in jail yeah. here. Not quite the two for one that I was hoping for, but still pretty uh, still pretty value. I don't have to take two. Uh... It was a two for one. You two for one to yourself. I yeah. did. <laughs> See, everything is fair. <laughs> I like whacked a... you and I got whacked back. <laughs> Technically a two for two because you got Shieldred plus the bolt bend. Yeah, 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 that's true. That's pretty good. So I think I will send. Uh, one wingmate rock uh, to you, and then uh, two birds to nerd girl. Uh, and when wingmate rock attacks, we have an ability. You're gonna go for birds after me after the bolt bend? You know, that's a fair point. 
Hey, it's just in defense. I don't have much. You they... all, you all get a bird. All right. You're all, all getting right. That's birded. fair. That's fair. Here, everyone gets a bird. <laughs> Everybody gets a bird. Uh, and then when I make rock attacks, I gain one life for each attacking creature. So I'm gonna gain back three of my life. Nice. One, two, three. Oh, I'm losing now. We're making, See, we're making it back. You didn't have to kill children. Yeah, you were but, fine. Oh, I need. Uh, Shelter's gotta go. <laughs> the only room for one big mommy in this house, and it's Eleanor. <laughs> um, she did lose her boots, though, which does suck for her. Pass the turn. Mono red player. Gotta, gotta top deck something nice here. <laughs> and, and we got it. Oh, no. <laughs> I hate that. Gee, I wonder. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't think I could have asked for much better than that. Um, okay. Let's not let's not think about it too much. Let's not math it out. I'm going to pay five. I'm going to cast Mana Geyser. So I get one red mana for each tap land that my opponents control. Oh, oh no. That's, <laughs> no. So, that's too many. Six for me. Six seven. Here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 19 red mana. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, it's going to be a turn. Okay. So there's my 19 red mana. I'm going to use three of it. I'm so excited. To cast Magus of the Wheel. It's a 3-3. Three, three. It can pay two and tap it and sacrifice it to make everybody discard the hand and then draw seven cards. And it has haste. Thanks, okay. Sarah Brask. Pay five. And cast Terror of the Peaks. Sorry, I'm going to pay four because of Hazard's Monument. And then I'm going to pay two. Tap and sacrifice Magus of the Wheel. Everybody discard your, your hand and draw seven cards. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not happy about this. I'm not thrilled. Right. I would have liked to play these cards. My yeah. hand was just Four dead five. average. Like I had a bunch of creatures with ETV triggers, so I, I think I'm seven. happy about it. Oh, I'm so happy about Did it. Do we draw a new seven? A or? new seven, okay. brand new seven. <laughs> uh, all right, can I? win um mm -hmm. i'm gonna play my mountain for the turn all right so we've got 11 mana to work with my creatures cost one less everything has haste Still no my non-combat is doubled <laughs> I, I, I thought i said i was not gonna think about this too hard uh, i'm gonna use three mana uh to cast active aggression i'm gonna pay four life for the phyrexian mana I can gain control of target creature and opponent controls until end of turn. I untap and it gains haste. I'm going to target Elishnorn. Mm. Oh. No. Uh, bye. Oh. There she goes. No. Hopefully it comes back. I, hopefully, yeah, I, when, hopefully I come back. Yeah, it'll, it'll come back when you shuffle that deck up for the next game. Uh. Um, so now my <laughs> triggers are doubled. Um, from Terror of the Peaks. Oh, shoot. Yes. <laughs> I still have eight mana left. I'm sorry. She's turned against me. She's out of my control. <laughs> <laughs> She's gone mad. <laughs> All right. I um, told you you needed to kill these, not children. Although drawing seven would have killed him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> children's alive. <laughs> that is true. That, that was a price that I, that I unfortunately paid. Via my hay for Sheldon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's just try and kill everybody right now. Uh, I'm going to go to combat. I'm going to swing with um, Ilark, uh, Terror of the Peaks. Uh, I so, wait. Uh, oh, yes. Um, so you do not have this mana anymore? Hmm. <laughs> ah, I got him. That's a judge, judge, get rid of it. <laughs> We're done. We move his. It's too late. <laughs> Your plan didn't work without keeping your mana, did it? No, it doesn't. Ah, Excellent. Good, good call. Oh, good call. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime someone sounds sure about what they're doing, I'm just like, uh-huh, checks out. Yeah, seems, seems No problem. Good. Well, if you have nothing to respond with, you can just kind of ignore what they do and not care. But, oh, yeah. but I might have a trick up my sleeve. Mm -hmm. I, I did just draw seven beautiful magic cards. That's true. All right, well, I guess I got to spend this now. Uh, I'm going to pay three of this uh, to cast Tectonic Giant. Three, four, when it attacks or becomes a target of something, I either deal three damage to each opponent or I exile the top two cards of my library and I can play one of them until the end of my next turn. Um, that is going to trigger Hazareth Monument. Uh, I will discard Thrill of Possibility and draw a new card. 
so now I'll get two Terror of the Peaks triggers. Um, actually, I, I think I need to respond, respond to, to this spell on the stack okay. because I think this is going to get out of hand. I yes, think we're so. all going to explode into dust if we let this happen. <laughs> <laughs> so I drew this ram through off the wheel and I'm hoping that I can use this on an Elishnorn so I can put together some kind of game plan. But Veggie is putting together something with Terror of the Peaks, so I think I have to use the ram through on that. In response to that spell on the stack, I'm going to untap a forest with Arbor Elf. And I'm going to... Go, 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 go. That's a 5-4, <laughs> right? Terror of the Peaks is a 5-4. I'm going to ram through targeting this werewolf pack leader and your Terror of the Peaks. So it'll deal 4 to it? Correct. <laughs> Save us. <laughs> We're just helplessly like, someone do something! <laughs> Melissa, you're our only hope! I... Yeah, I, I don't know. I, uh, yeah, there's not anything I can do about that, so oh. we'll die before the tectonic giant results. Yeah, we are in a Excellent. tough spot because everything still has haste, but, like, that was something. That was a that, lot. Yeah, okay. It was more than I was about to do about it, so... <laughs> yeah, you will lose three because of the Terror of the Peak's uh, first ability. All right. It, wait, it has a different ability? Yeah. <laughs> I usually just see it and then scoop my cards up. Yeah, you know, a 5-4 flyer for five that deals damage for all your creatures was not quite enough. So you also need to punish you for targeting it. I will pay the remaining four to cast Malignus. Power and toughness equal to half the highest life total amongst my opponents, rounded up. So currently it is a 14-14 and damage that would be dealt by it cannot be prevented. That'll give me another Hazard's Monument trigger. I do not need this uh, Defiler of Instinct, but I will take this card. Now I'll go to combat. Not quite as good without that Terror of the Peaks. We're gonna go... Uh, Remember, Veggie, no touching things until you know what your plan is. I know. That's the, my rule that I made and then never listened to, right? <laughs> like, here, this will help me. And He's like, I'm gonna uh, touch all my stuff oh, and I then uh, maybe attack. No. Mm. As soon as I start thinking about a card, I touch it. I'm like, uh, I'm gonna. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, Tectonic Giant is going to swing at Peachy along no. with um, Malignus. Elish Norn is going to head to Nerd Girl. Um, Ilarg to Melissa. And I think Orobrask and Solfim need to stay home. Otherwise, they are going to get blown up. And then is he just a 3 4? Uh, just a 3 4. When these things attack, Tectonic Giant is going to deal 3 damage to each opponent. <sighs> And Ilarg is going to put Dracuseth onto the board. Oh! <laughs> Unfortunately, it is an attack trigger from Dracuseth, so I won't get the extra damage from it, but oh. it is still a 7 7 flyer that is also headed towards Nothgo. Okay. Ew. Okay. I will block Elish Norn with a pest under a bus. I would like to block a. Uh... Tectonic Giant with Brimaz. Uh, when he blocks a creature, I get a 1-1 one, one white cat token that also will block along with him. So he'll have a 3-4 and also a 1-1. One, one. So a total of 4-5. I know that this isn't going to play out as well as I think it will, <laughs> but uh, I'll do that. And then I will also send my poor dog back into the fray of war. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's he's going to be dust. <laughs> he's going to be <laughs> he's going to be gone. So I'm thinking I'm going to block in that order. And I will not block, so I'm going to be taking six. Okay. And I don't know if I if I missed or not, but the three should have been six because it was nine combat damage. You're right. Yep. Ah. And don't forget to gain one life from the pest. Yeah, I gained a life when my pest died. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. My tectonic giant dies. Uh, your token will die, right? Because I can I can't kill him. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah. So just my token will die. Yes. Uh, and then spirit of companion, uh, you fought a good fight yet again. Back to the graveyard you go. <laughs> Ooh, uh, I was hoping for a lot more during that, but that is the end of my turn. Here is your Elish Norn. Yay! Well, Welcome home, Mommy. We survived. I didn't Try think... Three turns in my hand. I didn't think we would, not gonna lie. I will lose a life, and I'm gonna make a Fairy Rogue with my Bitter Blossom. Comes in tapped. Um, it does. <laughs> it sure does. Let's draw a card. I'm gonna play a Swamp. Surprise, surprise. I'm going to start by casting 
a dark ritual. When I cast a spell, we're going to get a tapped pest. Three black mana floating. I'm going to recast Shieldred. And then I'm going to pay for, I'm going to make a second pest when I cast a siphoned mind. Each player uh, will discard a card. I will draw a card for each card discarded this way. I'll discard a forest. I'll discard a mountain. And I will discard a roving harper. So I will draw three and I will gain six from the beautiful, beautiful Shildred. Uh, Shildred is beautiful and tapped. Oh no, she's very tapped. Uh, and then I will move to my end step and I will discard a swamp. Uh, I'm going to do something in your end step. So I'm going to tap Elvish Mystic to use Scavenging Use. I'll remove your Inferno Titan. Yeah. So this will get a counter and I'll gain one life. I'm going to reveal my card. It is a creature. So that means I'm going to draw a card and unfortunately lose two life. I'm dying. <laughs> then I will draw a card for turn and lose... Hold, hold on a second. What does this card do? When you reveal a creature this way, draw a card. Okay, so this is the card that I draw, and I'm going to draw a card from prim Primitive Etchings. And I lose two. That is a strangely worded card. <laughs> it, it's, it's weird. Okay, the card I drew is like pretty interesting. I think I'll play it because it's weird. Clamavis, it enters tap because of that thing. And it says each creature you control gets plus one, plus one for each plus one, plus one counter on it. So my stuff is slightly bigger. Enormous. Yes. Is it time to kill Veggie? <laughs> We're gonna just die to your shield, or though. That's, that's true. Yeah. yeah. When is it not time to kill Veggie? But I, like, I can't deal 20 damage to you, but maybe with your but help I, I can. <laughs> well then, I will attack you with Champion of Lamholt for five. I will attack Veggie with this guy, um, and I'll draw a card from the werewolf because I attacked with power six or greater. This is actually a five because of the one-one counter. Okay. I cannot block that, so I will take three. Yes. I could block, right? Because I have a five. You do have a five. I um, have a five. But if I don't block it, then I die to birds in the air. Uh, I will declare Sulfim as a blocker. Okay, so they'll trade? Yeah, they'll mm -hmm. trade. All right, I'll pass the turn. Untap, get back here, three, four. Veggie, you've done a good crime against me. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to bird you. Okay. I want I want to save my removal for this, but That's if you fair. if you put me into danger zone, I will have to remove your oh, things. Don't worry, I won't. <laughs> I'll have to remove your life. <laughs> <laughs> um, in 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 fairness, Nurgle, you do have a lot of life. I'll send you just one bird. Veggie, I will send you two birds. Okay. I'll send you all carrier pigeons. <laughs> uh, I cannot block them. That would be six to me. All right. Yeah, I'll take it. Cool. Uh, on my main phase two, I would like to uh, tap four for semester's end. Exile any number of target permanents and or planeswalkers I control. So I blink everything I that I choose up. At the beginning of the next end step, they all come back out and just blink my wingmate rock. Mm -hmm. I like yes. that. And I will get two new birds. <laughs> so then this will uh, resolve and go away. Let's again see if we can win the game. I will move to combat. I'm gonna attempt to give this minus six, minus six. With a defile, my friend, I have the six swamps. I don't have a way to stop that from happening. Fantastic. I will also get a bonus tapped pest. Um, so when this dies- And you also lost two life for children when you drew. Uh, uh, when this dies, I can put it third from the top. I will do that. I think if I swing here, I will die. I think if I don't swing here, I will also die. Um, but might as well go down swinging. So I'll swing nine your way uh, with Malignus. Okay. Uh, and I think that's that's all I can do there because Urbrask dies to most things. I think I will uh, block with uh, Brimaz, King of Oreskos. When he blocks, I'll get a 1-1 one, one white cat soldier token that will attempt to help him fight off yeah. <laughs> this thing. Before damage, I would like to uh, one, two, three, and go Eerie Interlude. Um, so after he's declared as a blocker, jupe him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Juped. Damage goes into space. 
and then he will uh, return at the beginning of my next end step. Okay. So I'll just put this right on top of him. In case you need it. Oh, this one's oh, going yeah. to die. This one will yeah. die, but I will need it later. Hopefully you'll get one. You put the like, cute oh. cat into play only to have it die. <laughs> You're like, guys, I'm here to help. Oh. And sure then does. on my second main, uh, I'll pay one, two, three, four, three. Uh, cast Torbren, Thane of Redfell. Oh boy. Yeah, my red sources deal an extra two damage and then that'll trigger Hazard's Monument. I will draw... No, that is not how that works. I will discard uh, Savage Beating and draw a card. Take two. I will take two. Uh, and then I will pay one for Dragon Master Outcast, which will probably not matter because I will probably be dead. I'll pass my turn. All right, let's untap and I will make a, another fairy that will remain tapped. Man, that thing is more annoying than I gave it credit for. And I lose a life for the fairy. I'll gain two for the draw for turn. I feel like I will die if I do not kill people right now. So I am going to try to figure that out. Yeah, everybody, everybody's sitting like, I think I will die if I don't make other people <laughs> die. All right, well, go big or go home. So we're going to play a swamp for turn. I have no idea if the math on this is going to work. So <laughs> uh, we are going to tap 12 mana. Oh, that's so scary. That's, that's too much. We're going to play <laughs> profane command. Mm. I'm going to choose the modes target player loses X life, and I'm also going to give X creatures fear. So I'm going to go ahead and make Peachy lose 10 life. No! And give all 10 of my creatures fear. <laughs> which I, I think can just not be blocked. Uh, you, are, you are correct. They cannot be blocked by anything on this board. Well, I take 10 from the, from the damage. Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh. Look at the bright side. Malignus is now smaller. That's true. <laughs> I can only I can attack with Melissa with just like the one because you die on upkeep. Um, so I do have a scavenging ooze in play. Oh, that's good to know. That's good to know. Okay, so I need to hit you for. So I have one. I have six untapped mana. Six. Oh no, I can't kill you. I mistakes were made, but I'm committed. Because I don't think I can beat any of you. Welcome, welcome to Mistakes Were Made, Bill. Uh, I'm the mayor. <laughs> Isn't uh, it great here? Uh, I do get to make a pest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Peachy won't kill me because Peachy will die. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, these are going to you for sure. Okay, I'm dead then. But I'm gonna leave Peachy alive to maybe distract Yay. Veggie. Uh, PG, I'm gonna hit you with three pests. Oh, okay. And I'm gonna hit Veggie with three other pests. And I will just have the one one untapped pest. So uh, when my warrior hits, I'm gonna go ahead and draw and gain two. Is it my turn now? Yep. Okay. I do not care for Sheldred. And now I'm on like a couple of turns clock, but I'm on a longer clock than Veggie is, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm on an, to, to my draw step clock. Okay, I'm gonna... Draw. I'm going to take two damage. I'm gonna play plants, and this is all I wanted to do. This is all, this is all I wanted for to be able to do in this game. Let's do this this fun silly thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A second Elish Norn. Oh! <laughs> What's better than one Elish Norn but two? So, uh, creatures I control get plus two, plus two. Creatures my opponent's control get minus two, minus two. Please bring out your dead. <laughs> uh, all right, that hits my Dragon Master Outcast. It does, it does. It also hits all of my pests. It does. Which I'm actually happy for. Okay. Uh, so now we have easier math. <laughs> pests uh, that hits the Sedgemore Witch, but I do get to gain seven life. So I have all of my three, four birds here that are all getting plus two, plus two. Um, so they're all effectively five, six birds. So I'm going to swing one five, six bird at Veggie. The other three of these birds will go at Nerd Girl, along with Wingmate Rock, Brymaz, and his one, one cat token. Um, he has Vigilance, but uh, the rest of the team is going to go at Nerd Girl. And uh, I believe that's the win. That's the game. Awesome. Block. Awesome. Ooh. 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 Team, team Norn sisters got there. <laughs> Even though I think I set up that last turn perfectly, I was not expecting a one-sided board clear that would also put an additional 20 points of damage to Peachy's board, but I guess that's what happens. I'm still very happy with how the deck played. So 
I didn't expect to win with a whole bunch of birds exactly, but I'm really happy I got to play both of my Elish Norns and just have a have a whole lot of things happen on my side of the board all at the same time. I got to do my big flashy thing and a whole flock of birds also helped me get there. I still think the Vorinclex deck is super cool though. It's just like ramp, big creatures, like lots of fun with counters and stuff and just beating down. Still super cool. And at a different table, it could have done well. I should have played Jink Taxius. Thanks for sticking around. In just a moment, we have a sneak peek for our upcoming episode. But first, we'd like to tell you about our sponsors. For this episode, we've partnered up with Into the AM to bring you guys an exclusive 10% off discount code that you guys can find down below in the description and in the comments. It takes a lot for something to enter into my rotation of four different things that I wear. But now, I've got five. And I've actually been wearing Into the AM shirts for a couple of years now, and I can tell you that they check all the boxes when it comes to comfort and style. And as always, Cool Stuff Inc. is the best place to pick up anything from sealed product to singles. Don't forget to use our code TOPDECK at checkout for 5% off your order. And if you need a little deck building inspiration, head over to edhrec.com where they've got all the synergies to match your budget and style. And now that you've got your deck list, you're going to need some accessories. Head on over to Dragon Shield where they have everything you need to get into the game. We have some exclusive links down below in the description. But if you would like to support us more directly, you can head on over to Patreon where you guys can get exclusive tokens from the players, play some spell table games with us, and even submit deck lists that we will play here on the stream. And of course, if you liked the video, click like. And if you really liked it, hit subscribe. But now let's check out that sneak peek into next episode. Miscusi, 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 miscusi. <laughs> I'm glad you got it. Italians sound off in the comments below. <laughs> I, I do not go after you on purpose. You're just always a poison player, right? <laughs> I'm also poisoning myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't remember reading that. It's more like a Hallmark card. <laughs> 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 Wish you were here. <laughs> Give all soon. <laughs> Leave the pause in. Don't edit it out. <laughs> oh my Nash gosh. 20. Oh. oh. He's legally One, allowed two. to do that. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Z. Don't Z. help Z. them. <laughs> if the Frexians win, I that's me. I'm I'm one of them, so I win. Well, if they win, right? Yeah. 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 Draw a card. Well, there goes that Pepsi sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay.